now is 8.35. It is, of course, Children in Need Day today. We've got a great lineup of guests for you this morning to mark the occasion. Yes, the impressionist John Corshaw is back with a new partner in crime, Deborah Stevenson, and they will be here on the sofa very shortly. The EastEnders actress Laurie Brett will be talking about her involvement with Children in Need, a special project and a performance tonight that is very close to her heart. We'll also get to meet one child who has actually benefited firsthand from the money raised in Children in Need. Seven-year-old Jamari is going to be here with his mentor from the charity Chance UK. Yeah, now as we get set for the fun of uh, Children in Need, it's a good time to look at one of the thousands of projects which benefits from the annual fundraising event. Chance UK provides one-to-one -one mentoring for children aged 5 to 11 with behavioural difficulties across Britain. And joining us on the sofa is seven-year-old Jamari, who has just spent a year being mentored by Matt Smith sitting alongside him. And sitting alongside me, the Chief Executive Officer of Children in Need, David Ramsden. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Jamari, thank you so much for coming in. What have you been up to the last year with your mentor, Matt Smith, then? Um, we went to the park and swimming and fought in the park. And we went to... You've been doing lots of activities together, haven't you? How old are you? Seven. Seven Tell years us, old. Jamari, what, what were your... Because you, we talked about some of the problems you had, and you were struggling a bit in school, weren't you? Things weren't going so good. What, what, what was going on, and what's changed? Like, um, uh, I was struggling with some of my friends who were getting on my nerves, and I was fighting a lot, and then I tried to stop, but then I've stopped it. And you, so you're getting into a bit of trouble here and there. And uh, Matt, what's, yeah, what's your role been? This is about taking children who haven't got outside spaces to play in, maybe have some behavioural difficulties, and, and you come in and mentor them. Yeah, Chance UK is a charity which runs um, uh, mentoring, um, basically, for children who are at risk of developing antisocial or criminal behaviour. Mm. Um, and I came in and I spend... I was matched with uh, Jamari, and I spend four hours a week uh, every Saturday we meet up and we go and hang out together and we go and do a wide variety of activities. So uh, we might go to the library and do some homework or we go and do some really fun things as well. So go to the park, we're going to go to the football in a couple of weeks. Um, so a really wide variety of things. But yeah. I didn't see Jamari's eyes light up when you said go to the library and do the homework. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I suppose it's all part of the, the thing, isn't it, of, of getting you, because school was struggling at school, what was it like meeting Matt? What, what, what do you think of him? It was nice. <laughs> yeah? yeah. <laughs> you do some good stuff together. And now at school? How is it at school now? It's a bit changed, but I've improved. Improved? It's better. He's doing really well at school now, and he's just had a certificate um, for his attitude to learning and his improvement, so he's doing really well. Yeah, that's great. That's and very good. Um, David, so just one of the projects which benefits from <laughs> uh, money from children in need. How many projects do benefit? Uh, at any point in time, we have um, 2,000 projects um, uh, right across the UK, and all of them have amazing children in, like Jamari. Um, and that's why it's so important that tonight people do dig deep, uh, um, watch the fantastic entertainment that we have lined up, but also do phone in and uh, donate money so that we can continue to change lots of young lives. Now, there were fears, of course, that last year, but, you know, we're in a recession and um, the amount that people donate might, might sort of go down. But that wasn't the case, was it? No, we had a fantastic year last year. Overall, we raised over £38 million. And this year, we just want to, you know, it's not about breaking records, it's about just raising as much mm. money as possible so that we can then go on supporting thousands of projects right across the UK that are going to change young lives. Mm. And Jamari, I bet your mum must be very proud of you, is she, about the changes that have happened? She's really proud. Yeah. I get the sense you're quite modest. You're quite a modest young He's man. not normally. He's been very quiet <laughs> this morning. You've very quiet this morning because <laughs> yeah. you're on telly. That often happens when cameras turn up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's been a real transformation, is it? And you must have been so proud watching. Oh, Mark yeah. We've had a fantastic year together. Um, we've had a lot of fun. Like, like we said, we've worked on some of the challenges that have been facing Jamari. But um, he's a brilliant, brilliant young boy um, with so much potential. And it's been fantastic working with him Are you going to watch tonight, Jamari? <laughs> you know, and if you're allowed no. to stay up a little bit, maybe. He'll be watching. I know what's going to happen. As soon as we finish this interview, you're going to start chatting. <laughs> <aren't you? laughs> Good to see you here this morning. Congratulations on the work you've done. And Matt, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, thanks, thanks very thanks much indeed. David, thank Good you. luck. Uh, coming up, impressionists John Colshaw and Deborah Stevenson are going to join us.
Uh, we were speaking more to them about their plans for children in need tonight. First, here's a last quick look at what's happening where you are. See you in a moment.